This afternoon, amongst a thousand other things getting ready for the holiday season, um, we're about to we're about a week before the full moon here, and I just want to test where we are with our parasite medications. Um, Soraya's going to test first. She's done about nine rounds of parasite medication so far, and um, we just want to kind of see where she's at, if, if she's testing well on medication still, or which ones. So I've got my husband with his magnet on his hand, and he's got his hand on Soraya's belly. That magnet is just, again, to make sure that I'm, uh, it's my insurance policy, just to make sure I'm testing her and not him. So I'm going to have him hold, one, two, three, hold. One more time, one, two, three, hold. Okay, I'm going to go with the Prazoquantil for the flukes first. One, two, three, hold. Not really any stronger there. Um, why don't you hold that on your liver? Let's try it one more time. One, two, three, hold. Now let's hold your liver one more time. Just baseline, one, two, three, hold. Baseline liver, just checking if I can see anything different when she holds her liver, not really. Um, that all tested, uh, Prozoquantil tests about like her baseline, so it's possible that with, she's had eight rounds, or I think eight or nine rounds of uh, parasite medications for uh, Prozoquantil um, for flukes. Um, so it's possible that she's actually finally done with it, done with the flukes. Um, her rounds are about 10 days in length. So next she's got some Lexisys, one, two, three, hold. Not really any stronger there. And Yep. Why don't you keep going with the flukes first? Put that on your liver. That's some triclab. One, two, three, hold. Nope, not really any better with that. Um, Prazoquantil was the one that was really testing well on her in the past and that she's done pretty well on. So, um, so that's the main one I wanted to test. Um, diethyl, which is just for worms. Why don't you hold that one on your belly, just in the belly area? One, two, three, hold. A pretty strong. One, two, three, hold. Yeah, really super strong on the diethyl, so apparently we're not done with the worms. Um, we've got some mebendazole, mebex for worms, one on the belly, 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 one, two, three, hold. Super strong on the mebex. Okay, we're definitely doing another calcer round, and we're going to add in some uh, diethyl to it. Diethyl is not as well tolerated, so I usually like to, these are um, little cap, uh, cap, um, tablets in here and I like to encapsulate them and put them in a pill format. Um, actually, to, for full disclosure, she's actually on diethyl now because a couple weeks back she was um, complaining of some itching and so I tested and I put her on this. So she's actually been on this kind of consistently for a couple weeks now. So we'll just keep going with that. Maybe even add some to it. Uh, we got some ivermectin. Once, once you put it on your belly, one, two, three, hold. Not really strong on the ivermectin. That's for protozoans. We've got the, this is the, um, the ivermectin called Ivacop from India. This is just the uh, compounded pharmacy ivermectin. I found that they test actually the same, but I have pulled them both out. So one, two, three, hold. Yeah, it's about the same. Uh, I've got some pyrantal also for worms. One, two, three, hold. Nope, about the same there, about the same as the baseline, no difference. I've got some albenda, which I actually don't really like. People use it for worms. I think it's hard on the liver, so we don't use that, but I happen to have it around for testing. So one, two, three, hold. Nope, not just about like the baseline there. And some tinidazole, also called tindamax. Um, that's just for, sometimes used for babesia, but also for protozoan parasites. One, two, three, hold. No, about the same as the baseline. So Suraj is working on some Mebex and some diethyl for the worms. Okay, Missy, you're dismissed. Um, Sabrina, you want to come? Let's see if Sabrina's coming next. We'll just do Manuel really quick. Um, one, two, three, hold. Why don't you hold your stomach? One, two, three, hold. Let's go backwards with him. Let's do the worms first. One, two, three, hold. No, about the same. Mebex, one, two, three, hold. Nope, the same. Let's do the, keep going with the worms. Pyrantal, one, two, three, hold. Nope. Um, let's keep going. Let's go with the ivermectin, one, two, three, hold. Nope. The other ivermectin, one, two, three, hold. Nope. The tinda, one, two, three, hold. Not really. Um, now we've got some sleep medication here. 
This is the Praza Quantal. One, two, three, hold. Nope. I don't expect him to test very well on the Praza Quantal um, because that he's never had flukes that we've known of. He's never, um, as far as we know, never had flukes. So we're just going to um, assume he still doesn't have them. One, two, three, hold. Nope. His uh, rounds that he's been doing have been mostly for worms. One, two, three, hold. No. And Albendo, one, two, three, hold. Uh, nope, not that either. So Manuel's only done, I think, about four or five rounds of parasite medications, uh, three weeks in length. So he hasn't done as many as me or the children have done. But he has done the Calcar protocol with us along the way because I figure if one of us has worms, then the others are kind of always being ex potentially being exposed to it. So he's done the calcar along with us, even though um, he n maybe didn't even need it. So um, so that concludes Manuel. He's not testing well on any medications, but he'll probably go ahead and do the calcar with us anyway. We're continuing on with our parasite testing, we've got Sabrina here now, and um, Sabrina's also done about eight or nine rounds of parasite medications. Uh, mostly worms was her main problem. Um, she's had some flukes as well, but we haven't seen as many of those, more worms. So she's, um, we're just checking in with her to see where she's at. Sabrina, why don't you hold your tummy as well? One, two, three, hold. Baseline, pretty strong baseline. Um, mebendazole, one, two, three, hold. Super strong on the mebendazole. Okay, we're definitely continuing with the Calcar pro protocol round number nine or ten of that. Um, so we got some diethyl, hold that there, one, two, three, hold. Super strong on the diethyl, we're definitely doing that with the Calcar protocol. Actually, Sabrina's also just recently gone on diethyl, I think. Um, she was testing really well for it on Zyto. I checked her at home, she was also testing well on it, and I know Soraya's testing and I'm testing on it, so she's on that as well right now. She's been on it for about two weeks, so we'll, continue, we'll definitely continue with that. The ivermectin, one, two, three, hold. Uh, not really, that's about like her baseline. The other ivermectin, one, two, three, hold. Nope, not really, those are for protozoan parasites. Now we've got the, starting on the, um, why don't we continue with the worm theme first. The pyrantal, one, two, three, hold. Nope, not really on the pyrantal. We go to the tinda for protozoans as well, one, two, three, hold. Nope, not really. We got some albenda also for worms. One, two, three, hold. Nope, not really touching on that either. Um, flukes, now let's look at flukes. One, two, three, hold. Nope. And some triclav. One, two, three, hold. Nope. And some prosequantal. One, two, three, hold. Nope, not really testing well on that. So just for just the. Um, the worm uh, stuff for Sabrina today. Looks like she's testing well on that. I actually want to go ahead and dose her on this diethyl because I'm kind of curious. She's taking right now um, three pills per day. She's taking one pill, uh, one and a half pills twice a day. So here's her three pills that she's taking. Hold that in your hand. Just hold it in your hand. One, two, three, hold. Super strong on three pills. Let's up her to five pills per day. Five pills per day. One, two, three, hold. Weak on five pills per day. Okay. Let's try four pills per day and see how she does on that. One, two, three, hold. Weak on four. Three pills per day. One, two, three, hold. Strong on, super strong on three pills per day. And, uh, and actually pretty weak on four. One, two, three, hold. Super weak on four, so with her it's a clear-cut case. Apparently three pills per day is just about right. That's what I think I, I had dosed her on um, a couple weeks back, and that's what she's been on for a little bit of time now. So apparently we just need to continue with that. So we got distracted from testing for parasite medications um, for this round before we tested me. So just coming back here later in the day to, uh, to finish up the testing for the current round of parasite medications. And... Um, I'm actually not feeling so great. I've got a scratchy throat and I've got my nose just feels like it's kind of got a virus or something in it. And one of the children was sick earlier, uh, I guess last week, so it makes sense that maybe I've caught it now. So first, before I get to the parasite stuff, I just want to go through the cold stuff. 
um, just to see if I'm testing well on that and which one. So I'm going to go through the cold stuff first, and then I'm going to see if we can test for parasite medications. It's possible, um, especially because I'm not feeling so hot with this cold thing, that maybe the cold is going to just be dominating um, what my body wants to wants to work on, and we may not be testing well on any parasite medications. Um, because the cold is bothering me so much, that's the first layer, one of the, you know the top couple of layers, and we can't even maybe test down to the parasite um, layer to see if I still need parasite medications, and if so, which ones. So I'm going to go through the cold stuff first, really quick. I've got my husband here; he's going to test my baseline first. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go with the Aussie homeopathic remedy first for colds. No. Not stronger. Okay, I'm going to go with Arsenicum album, which is really nice sometimes for my sore throat. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I've got sore, sore throat. I've got the um, Windbreaker, which is Gentle Warrior's um, herbal remedy for colds. Mm, not really. Not really. Chest relief, another herbal, Gentle Warrior's uh, herbal remedy for colds for chest. Mm. Not really in my chest yet. I've got some uh, windbreaker mix, which is just the windbreaker chest relief and uh, two other remedies called open air and deep breath from the same company. Mm, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Okay, so um, I've got some colloidal silver here. Nope. No. Okay. Um, then let's get into the parasite medications. Let's just try and see what we can see. I'm going to go ahead and hold my liver um, first. Let's do the flukes first and see what we can see there. I got some prosequantil here for flukes. Nope. No. Um, I've got some triclab for flukes. I'm going to put that on my liver area. Nope. No. I've got some lexicis for flukes. Nope. No. Okay, not seeing any flukes. And let's try the worm, uh, protozoans, I guess. I've got ivermectin. I'm just going to hold that on my tummy. No. Nope. No. I've got some tinda, tinda tinidazole, also called tindamax. Mm -hmm. No. And now let's go for the, um, the other ivermectin. I forgot I have another ivermectin called ivacop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've got some worm medication, mebendazole. Yep. Okay, still got some worms. Diethyl. No, no. Not really. Okay, I'm actually taking um, one and a half pills of diethyl per day because I was testing well on it a couple weeks back. So I've actually been on that kind of off-round uh, kind of thing. And I've got albenda, which I don't really like this because I, I don't think it's very nice to the liver, but I do have it around for testing, so I'm going to just test that. Mm -hmm. No. So just some abendazole, at least testing now, I'm probably going to revisit this for me in a couple days because, like I said, this cold is really bothering me. So I'm testing at least for now on um, Arsenicum album. Let's just try that one more time. Okay. And mebendazole for worms. So for the mebendazole, I'll probably do the calcar protocol. We're about a week before the full moon, so we usually start... Uh, Calker actually now about a week before the full moon. I think he recommends to start it three days before. We used to start it three days before, but we found that after several months of the Calker protocol, the worms seem to have shifted and gotten kind of smarter and uh, moved to, moved to a little bit off of the moon. So we've started starting the medications um, about a week before the moon now. And we've also I've also seen that the worms have somewhat shifted to the new moon. So sometimes we shift the round to the new moon. Um, and this is my, I think I've been on five rounds of parasite medication so far. Uh, each round has been about three weeks. Um, mostly the rounds have been prosequantal rounds, um, usually with some ivermectin and the Calcor protocol. Um, so five rounds of that, three weeks on the round of medications, followed by a gallbladder liver flush for three, three to four days. Um, and then sometimes I would take a, take some time off or uh, take a month off or sometimes I would just keep going. I guess I've done those five months in the last, um, I guess about 
eight months or so. I had to take a month off because of my dental surgery and I had some other things that I had to take a month off for. But um, So this will be round six for me and I'm definitely going to do the Calcra protocol and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to revisit the flukes again in a couple days uh, with the Prazaquantil. Prazaquantil's tested really well on me and I've, I've excreted a lot of flukes with it. So I'll probably uh, retest that in a couple days when this cold is kind of not bothering me so much and just see um, if, if we can see any any need for Prazaquantil. Um, I'm, I'm going to say though, honestly, I would tend to kind of stay on this because I've had so many flukes. I've had hundreds of flukes come out and um, I think that I've come this far after so many rounds and so many months of medication that I really want to make sure I really got them all. Um, so I may just end up doing a round of this anyway, even if this is actually maybe the first month that I'm testing as not needing it. Um, I may just do the round anyway just because, um, like I said, I just don't want to leave anything in there. I really want to be over with this fluke thing um, for good. Um, and now Prazaquantil is very well tolerated by me. When I take Prazaquantil, I don't even notice that I'm on it. Uh, when I was first on it, I would get really sick and, you know, could barely function, um, very sick and excreting hundreds of flukes. But now, the last round I was on it, I didn't even notice that I was taking any kind of medication and, um, and I didn't really see any flukes coming out. So, um, so it's possible I'm done with it, but like I said, I've come this far, I've been um, this sick from flukes and I definitely don't want to repeat that whole, whole process. So I definitely don't want to leave anything in there.